what everyone's talking about right now is all the fallout from Scandaval. And we just had the season wrap up. I'm wondering what was your first reaction when you heard the news this March? Oh my God, I was just in complete shock. I couldn't hardly believe it. I texted Sheena and Lala in the group chat first thing. And I was like, is this real? Because I found out through TMZ like the rest of the world did. Like Sheena didn't tell me because I it, she was already going through so much. Like I think I found out the next day or, or the day after whenever the world found out, you know, it, it wasn't that long in between that it came out publicly. But um, yeah, so I just had to text them. And I was like, is this true? And they both just like wrote yes in all caps, yes, like both of them. I was like, no. And then the first thing I thought was, how's Ariana? How's Ariana? How is she doing? And of course I texted her and, you know, just was like saying, I check, checking in on her. If she needs anything, we're right down the street. We literally live six minutes away from each other. Um, so I just, I think I was just in complete shock. I always thought Raquel was such a nice girl. I never saw that side of her. So it just kind of came out of left field, I think for all of us. With the season finale and also with Ariana on Watch What Happens Live, were there any scenes or moments that really stood out to you or surprised you, angered you? Oh, just uh, the thing that angered me the most was whenever Tom was talking to Ariana and like even at the end, whenever she was like, is there anything you want to say to me? And he still didn't say sorry. That like really rubbed me the wrong way. Of course, the whole situation has rubbed me the wrong way. But like he didn't even he could have even said like, I'm sorry. And then to he asked like or she asked, what are you when's the next time you're going to see her? And he was like, tomorrow. Like, did, like, just say like, I don't know or something. What, what is your problem? Like, why are you apologizing? And why are not you? just like, don't say you're going to go see her tomorrow, right? Like, it just seems like there's just like no empathy and that he like had no remorse for what he had done. And that was really just so annoying. So annoying. I hated that part. News broke a couple days ago that Sandoval and Raquel have like reportedly broken up. Um, were you surprised by that? What was your reaction? I don't know. Because then I saw more that they weren't broken up, that they were never in a relationship to begin with and that they're still talking and trying to figure it out so I don't even know I don't even know what to believe these days um I just think that they just dug, dug their own grave so whatever happens to them happens to them because right now like I don't think anybody really wants to talk to them or have to deal with their crap anymore such a bad thing to do like she was literally over there all the time and was acting like her best friend the whole entire time this was going on so it's just so cringy could you see them returning to the show next season I'm sure production wants them to return to the show <laughs> because I mean, this has been a gold mine for them because, you know, this just went so public and it's been so crazy, but I don't think that the rest of the cast is going to want that. So, I mean, it just depends. It's reality TV at the end of the day, we have to deal with hard crap all the time. So I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen there. Ariana also, it looks like, has a new guy in her life, an exciting new direction. Uh, how do you feel for her as, you know, a supporter, a friend? Oh, my gosh. I feel so happy for her. I've heard nothing but amazing things about him. Um, everybody that I've that knows him and has talked to him says that he's great, and that makes me so happy for her because she deserves it. And I think that she's just going to feel like so much weight is lifted off of her shoulders, and she's not going to have to deal with, like, Tom's going out all the time and just the craziness that comes with him and their lives like it's going to be a, a nice break and relief for her and I'm just I'm just happy that she's yeah she's had to go through this hard time and it's been very public and that is so hard to deal with when it's something like this is so public but I'm so happy that she's like getting to do all this amazing stuff and I just think that in the end she's just going to grow from it all and it's going to be like a really good thing that they finally are not together anymore honestly